Okay, so question six. We've got this figure um, of a function. So figure one shows a sketch of a curve with equation y equals two over x. So we've got a reciprocal function here. It tells us that x cannot be equal to zero. That's because um, we'd end up dividing by zero. So one of the asymptotes is x equals zero, which is our y-axis. And we're told that the curve C has equation y equals 2 over x minus 5, where x is not equal to 0, and the line L has the equation y equals 4x plus 2. Sketch and clearly label the graphs of C and L on a single diagram. On your diagrams, show clearly the coordinates of the points where C and L cross the coordinate axis. Okie doke. So, let's start with a quick sketch of some axes. So we have axes like so and we've got the y-axis here and the x-axis here. Okay so let's start with the curve C. Now we know that the uh, figure given, we're given a reciprocal function like so and we're asked to sketch y equals 2 over x minus 5. So there is a relationship between these two. And if you know your transformations of functions, you should know that um, this curve is just going to be the first curve shifted down by 5 units. So we're going to have a curve that comes down like so, something like this. So, so uh, I'm gonna I wanna mark the ruler tool is not working perfectly well. Let's try that again. Um, so we've got an asymptote here. I'll just change the style. Asymptote there. Let's make it blue. y equals negative 5. So we've got an asymptote where when y is negative 5 and we've also got an asymptote when x is 0. So we've got an asymptote here. x equal to 0. So there's our two asymptotes for that function. Okay, that's the curve C. So let's just mark that. In red, that's y equals 2 over x minus 5. And then we want the other function, um, y equals 4x plus 2. It's a linear graph with a gradient of 4 and a a y-intercept at 2. So we're going to have some y-intercept here at 2. So and it's got a gradient of 4, so pretty steep. Something like this. It's going to cut when y equals 2. Um, this is y equals 4x plus 2. And also, we've got another intersection with the axes here. And this point of intersection is going to be when, uh, when y equals 0. So when y equals 0, when y equals 0, the function becomes 0 equals 4x plus the 2. And solving for x, we're going to take 2 off both sides and divide by 4 we get negative a half. So the x-intercept is negative 1 over 2. Home and dry. There's one more point that we need to mark, and it's this one here. So where, what happens with y equals 2 over x minus 5 when we cross the x-axis? That means y equals 0. So you get 0 equals 2 over x 
minus 5. I'm going to add 5 to both sides, so you get 5 equals 2 over x. Um, manipulating the equation, multiply both sides by x and then divide by 5. We're going to get x equals 2 over 5. So this point here is 2 over 5. 2 over 5. Okay, and we've actually answered part B as well. Write down the equations of the asymptotes of the curve C. We've got an asymptote where x equals 0 and where y equals negative 5. So this is in fact part A and part B in 1. Let's move on to part C. Part C, we need to find the coordinates of the points of intersection of y equals 2 over x minus 5 and y equals 4 plus 4x plus 2. So they'll intersect where they're equal to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let 2 over x minus 5 be equal to 4x plus 2 because they must share the same y value. Let's see if we can solve this now. So we get 2 over x equals 4x plus 7. Let's multiply across by x. We get 2 equals 4x squared plus 7x. And we're going to take 2 off both sides. So we get 4x squared plus 7x. Take away 2. Must be equal to 0. Okay, we're going to factorize this guy now. So I'm going to do... 4x squared here and the negative 2 here. Now, numbers that multiply to negative 8 but add to make 7, positive 7, so it must be a plus 8x minus 1x. So I'm going to factor out 4x here and that leaves me with x minus or x plus 2 and factor out a negative 1 here and that gives me a x plus 2 that's going to be equal to 0 so my factors must be 4 x minus 1 times x plus 2 and they must be equal to 0 so that means that x equals 1 over 4 and x must equal negative 2 Okay, so x is uh, 1 quarter and x is negative 2. We're going to substitute that back in. I'm going to substitute it back into y equals 4x plus 2. You can choose either. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So when x is a quarter, when x is 1 quarter, that means that y is going to equal 4 times a quarter plus 2 is going to be 3. And when x is negative 2, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, negative 8 plus the 2 is negative 6. So the points of intersection are 1 quarter and 3 and negative 2 and negative 6.